We talked last week, of course, about what makes an interesting character, an exciting character, a dynamic character. And I think we all agreed more or less that what gives a character that extra edge and makes them something that we want to tune into and keep listening to is the facets and the sides of the character. There's more to the character than just a funny voice. You know, the, the character has some character, has a personality. Um, and talking about ways that we can uh, enhance that personality and add to that. And we did talk about the concept of variety. Uh, Variety is the art of changing it up. It's the art of not getting stuck in the rut. It's the art of keeping it lively, keeping it moving. I mentioned last week that if you think about it, life is change. Life involves motion, movement, evolution, change. So if you want to put life into your reads, put change into your reads. This is a very basic concept. I remember years ago when I did a lot of improv. It was just a very, very basic kind of idea that everybody in the group subscribed to and understood. If a scene is dying, if a scene is not going well, the thing to do is just change change it, change it up, do something different. Something isn't working, try something else. You know, change the whole scene if necessary. Held in the scene and start a whole different scene if necessary. But keep the changes coming. Now, sometimes people say, well, but isn't it important to be consistent with a character? Yes, it is. That is a very important aspect as well. That's kind of the other side of the story. One side of the story is change, variety, changing it up, keeping it lively, keeping it fresh. The other side is staying consistent with the character. When we say variety, we're not talking about changing the character so much that it sounds like a different character. We're talking about staying within the parameters of that character, but giving the character different emotions, uh, different, just different sides. Uh, there's different aspects to this character. They're not always the same. When you do that, you end up then with a performance that is consistent. In other words, we do believe it's consistently the same character, but that character now has suddenly become a lot more surprising to us, a lot more interesting because we don't really know what the character is going to do next. If we feel like we know that the character is going to do always the same thing because they always do this in every circumstance, every situation, and there's no, never any variety there, then it gets boring. And this is true, of course, in all things, but especially in comedy. In comedy, we need to be surprised. We need to be caught off off guard. And variety is a great way to do that. I really encourage people, build variety into your performances. Try not, as much as possible, particularly in your auditions, try not to repeat yourself as much as possible. Um, Rebecca of lovethatrebecca.com says, All of it in review provides a great opportunity to practice. For me, I love that. She says, finding all of those facets, et cetera, takes play. This class gives opportunity for that. Yes, absolutely. You're totally right on there, Rebecca. And that is something we talked about last week, tapping back into that kid-like sense of fun, that kid-like sense of adventure, of wonderment, not seeing this as hard work. It's not some hard, laborious task. It should never be intimidating or frightening. This should be easy. This should be fun. This should be about you, to a very great extent, tapping into your creative mind and your creative imagination and capitalizing on all the great experiences you've had in your life. You've got all this great material. You've got all kinds of feelings, all kinds of opinions, and all that can come through in your work, and it should and it must. That's how you create and craft those exciting, interesting, dynamic performances.